So KR, before I introduce Tom Kilgore, why don't you show us exactly how this works? Thanks, Zach. So I'm holding in my hand a fuel cell. Okay. One of these units, what you see out here is a white substrate that's about the thickness of your business card and the, and the real dimensions will be four inch by four inch which is two business cards if you put next to each other and hold in your hand you're holding about the same thickness the same size of a fuel cell on that white layer on one side you have a black ink and on the other side you have a green ink okay that's about it for a fuel cell. It looks simple, but it's deceivingly simple is all that I can say. Don't go home and try this. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what it does is the white material is a product that comes out of a beach sand. And in it, it has a special property that allows only oxygen to go across it to the other side. Air, as you all know, anywhere on the planet has enough oxygen, and that oxygen from the air goes from this black side and comes to this other side. On this side, you need a fuel, any fuel that has hydrogen or carbon or both. And that's practically everything you can think about. These things operate at high temperature, but after the talk, if your hands are clean, you can go touch the box on the outside. <laughs> I just brought a little tissue to wipe it out. I care about it. Uh, so uh, what you see is really a, a box where you will not feel the heat. All the heat is used internally very cleverly to get more and more electrons coming out of that box. So think about the possibility again, thinking about the impact. You can be in the middle of some country in Africa where the biomass coming in from a 200, 300 people campus can be the fuel that goes into a box like this and produces electricity for them. They can now, without having to run a grid, without having to run a gas line in a very remote area, they can have electricity. It's very important for this world because when they have clean electricity, they have clean water. When they have clean water, clean electricity, they have good health, they become economically producing people that have a future.